Hello, welcome to the For Forest. Let's learn about for loops. Use a for loop to repeat code for each item in an array. So for example, if you had an array called bananas and there were 10 bananas in the array, if you say for B in bananas, this for loop is going to repeat for each banana in the array. So it's going to loop 10 times. And each time, this variable B will hold a given banana. So the first time through, B is going to be the banana with index 0. The second time, it will be the banana in bananas with index 1 and so on, all the way through all the bananas. However, if bananas just had three bananas in it, it would loop three times. Let's look at an example. Here's a challenge where we have six banana objects, and each of these bananas are in an array called bananas. Here we have bananas with index 0. So each of these bananas have a different index. And since there's six of them, the index is 0 through 5. Now if we look at the code, um, we know we want the monkey to pick up all those bananas. So if we look at the code, we're using a for loop for B in bananas. So this is the name of the array. And because there are six bananas in this array, this for loop will repeat six times. Each time B, which is a variable, will B will store a different banana. So the first time through, B is bananas with index zero. The next time through, B is bananas with index 1, and so on, all the way to bananas with index 5. So it repeats six times. And the first time through, when we say turn to B, we're really saying turn to bananas with index 0, and step the distance to bananas with index 0. And then the next time through, we will be turning to bananas with index 1, and stepping the distance to bananas with index 1. Now, one point I want to make is B is only valid within this for loop. If I use B outside of this for loop, it would not work. You know, the, the program would not recognize B. It's only valid within the loop. Let's look at it. Let's go ahead and run this first. And then we'll look at another example. You see how it's, the, it's nice how we see what B is each time. B is bananas 4. B is bananas with index 5. Here's a challenge with turtles. We can see in the challenge that we want the monkey to step onto the turtle and then have the turtle move to the banana, and then the monkey to step onto this turtle and have the turtle move to the banana, and then have the monkey step onto the last turtle, and then have the turtle go to the banana. So we have three turtles and three bananas. Uh, you have to decide sometimes which array you want to loop on, and we have the starter code that tells us we are looping on the turtles. There's three turtles, so how many times will this for loop repeat? Three times, and each time T is going to be a different turtle. So the, so let's see, we want to step, we probably don't want to, we want to step more than zero. We want to step the distance to this turtle. But we know that later on we're going to want to step to this turtle. And then here we're going to want to step to this turtle. So instead of saying, you know, turtles with index 0, 
Instead, I'm going just to say, step the distance to T because T will change each time through the loop. And then we're going to have the turtle that the loop is working on step 10. Let's just make sure that is 10. Ah, it's actually 20. So let's put 20 in here instead. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, T is turtles with index 0. Now T is turtles with index 1. And now T is turtles with index 2. You see how flexible that is? Now that we have reviewed for loops, it's your turn. Good luck.